so what I actually did was um, oh, welcome back to part three um, of the build pump build um, this before had a smaller plunger area with a pin so I could just pin in my rubber glove which was actually a bellow for that pump uh, so what I did now was I created a 1-8 platform which is close to one inch in diameter and I chamfered the edges of that so that once it's going in it's going to be going left to right like this right so this surface is going to be tilting like that like that like that on each stroke so I didn't want this to bind within the cylinder so I rounded off these edges and I made the base of the of the plunger a little bit stronger so now I should be able to move a larger volume of water with every stroke and my goal is to try to get some water going through that pump so this is sort of a modification it is a modification for it and we'll see later on if it works um, I've started up the printer and that's going to be printing pretty soon so so um, I've started printing the new plunger for the pump and um, this should take like 15 minutes to an hour probably more closer to an hour to print at the rate it's going and uh, I, I always add some support material to give it some added uh, added a heat adhesion strength to the table so it doesn't topple over in middle in middle print that thing's going to be over an inch and a half high so it's gonna it's gonna need that okay so this is the finished print and like you can see here I lofted the base of the um, I lofted the base of the plunger to the um, I don't, I'm not sure what to call this a shackle I might be totally off on that, but this is connect, going to connect to the lever, the lever or lever of the uh, of the pump, and the plunger itself. Like I said earlier, I put a radii on this or a chamfer so that if I it, when, when pumping this is going to come in at an angle like this right and you don't want you don't want any of this to bind into the into the pump so just a second I'm going to get the pump <clears throat> and I lucked out on this one the, the pump fits in there and I can go on a wide angle without it binding and if Am I in the frame? Yep. So 
So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to measure this final dimension. I'm over an inch. Sorry about the television in the background. So I'm in view here. Oops, missed it. Try that again. Okay, tighten that up a bit. Get the mic. And here I have so I'm getting actually uh, 192 tenths or rounded out 19 thou difference in these diameters so it should provide me with some sort of a seal not a not a very good one but I should be able to get some pumping action out of that pump well here we are again in the uh, super high-tech laboratory I'm going to test the pump well, I cheated. I already tested it. But what happens is the plunger or the piston isn't a good enough seal. I have to keep it underwater to provide a seal on this side of the pump. But it does pump water though. The check valves are set properly. And if I submerge it and I pump hard enough, I am getting output over here. I don't know if this back in the frame or not, but it is pumping water, right? So, it is a success, but the pump would only work underwater. If, if, uh, if I double or triple the size of this piston, I would get a lot, a lot more volume coming out of that uh, outlet, right? But it is pumping water, so the valves are working, right? Right? 